Have you ever wondered how beer gets from a keg and into your glass? Along the way, the beer needs to be chilled whilst retaining its unique taste, aroma and appearance. Here's how it works. It all begins in the keg storage area, where the containers should ideally be kept at a temperature of 12 degrees centigrade. Usually, temperature is maintained by means of storing kegs in a temperature-controlled cellar. Dispense gas is used to move the beer from the keg and around the dispense system. The gas leaves the gas bottle and travels through a primary valve which maintains the gas at a safe working pressure. The gas then goes into a secondary valve which adjusts the pressure required for the specific beer. Finally, it continues its way down into the keg coupler. The coupler is used to attach a keg of beer to the dispense system. The gas enters the keg which assists the flow of beer into the fob detector. The fob detector minimises beer wastage when you change a keg by keeping the line full of beer to the tap. When the keg is empty, the float inside the fob detector drops down, stopping gas entering the line by sealing the line. Whilst the float is up, the beer can continue through the fob detector and along the product line into the cooler on its way to the tap. Cooling the beer to the correct temperature requires the use of a cooler. Beer enters the cooler and goes through a coil which is immersed in ice cold water. The longer the coil, the colder the beer will become. The beer then exits the cooler, continuing on its journey to the bar via a python. The python has cold water running alongside the beer lines so that the beer is cooled from cellar to glass. The cold water circulates all the way to the bar and back into the cooler, continually chilling the beer. The dispense tap, when fully opened, releases the beer from the cooled line and out into the customer's glass. It's important that the correct branded glassware is used as it's been designed to present that beer in the best possible way.